Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my hair care routine. How I take care of my hair now that I'm over 40 years old. Also, how I treat my already treated hair and how I style my hair using the Dyson Airwrap. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you wanna know how I go from these to this right here using the Dyson Airwrap and how to enter my giveaway, then just keep on watching. The day before, I have used the Sisley Hair Recall Hair Mask, and that's why you see my hair that it looks wet, but it's not wet. It's actually this mask. It's pretty amazing, the texture and the scent is so good. Now let me show you which shampoo and conditioners I'm using currently. They are by Olive. They are the shampoo for brilliance and shine. And I have been loving this combination right here. Today I will be sharing with you my hair care routine as well as how I style my hair using the Dyson Airwrap. This one right here, it is the limited edition 2021 Dyson Airwrap, but if you have been following me for quite some time, you know that I own the original Dyson Airwrap for quite some time, perhaps two years by now. In fact, I do have a video here on my channel comparing the Dyson Airwrap versus my T3 Curling One. If you want to watch that video after you watch this video, I will make sure to leave it up on the cards or on the description box below for your convenience along with everything else that I will be using today again they will be all in the description box below but this baby right here why did I got this <laughs> I didn't need to get it right well this one I actually didn't purchase it it was my daughter who decided to purchase it because she has been using mine and since right now the Sephora holiday savings event is going on I'm a Rouge member so I get 20% off but I mean regardless if you are, for example, a VIV and you get 15% off or even an insider with 10% off, this is a hair tool that I have mentioned it many times, even on my recommendations video, that I will buy it myself if I need to a second, third time, doesn't matter. It's such a good, good hair tool. So anyhow, I think it's about time for me to show you what I do for my hair care routine and all that jazz. I do have treated hair, so I have low lights, highlights, um, you know, I retouch my roots and all of that. So as you can tell, I have already washed my hair. Again, I will be leaving the shampoo that I'm using right now, conditioner, hair mask, everything on the description box below in order. Also, this towel right here is actually, you know, those head wraps. I used to use the Aquis one, but this one I actually found it at Amazon and it's made out of 100% organic bamboo cotton and I really like it because it's extremely absorbent and also is very long because I do have very 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 long hair as you can tell my hair is pretty much um I will say 80 85% dry which is recommended when you're using your Dyson air wrap too you don't want your hair to be extremely wet now right after I wash my hair and before I put it on the turban I use my old Olaplex number six bone smoother. Now this one right here is a repetitive treatment that is just like a leave on mask. I usually keep it this way because it's very thick and heavy and as you can tell I give it quite some love right here. Now I don't use it every single time I wash my hair. I usually use it like once a week, sometimes twice a week. Now as far as what I use for protecting my hair before I go with any hair tool, before I start styling my hair, I usually use this Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil. This is a primer which protects you from heat and also from UV because yes, the sun doesn't only damage our skin, but also our hair. I mean, we have to, you know, make sure that we take good care of our hair and our skin and all of that. So this one is the one that I usually use when I'm using my Dyson Airwrap. Now, if my hair is completely dry, 
and I'm restyling it, whether it's with an air wrap or with my T3 wand. Then I go with the IGK Good Behavior. And this one right here has the spirulina. It's also a heat protectant up to 450 degrees, but it also has a keratin-like treatment that what it does, it controls the freeze. So this one right here, I used it at quite a bit when I was in Florida because of the humidity levels and this works super good but here in California I usually use it again when my hair is just completely dry I'm restyling it and then I use it or when I know that you know the either humidity levels are going to be a little bit up or if it's going to rain um, or a sprinkle I should say because it doesn't rain that much where I live here in California but anyhow I'm just gonna just start applying my heat protectant that by the way, right now that the Sephora sale is still going on, I will highly suggest you to, you know, I think the biggest investment, I love makeup and I already have so much because the nature of my job, reviewing, you know, makeup and whatnot. But I, what I actually like to use, my discount from Sephora is actually replenishing for everything that has to do with hair, whether it's shampoo, conditioner, masks, treatments, all of that, skincare too, treatments and everything else. And this is something that I really need to replenish because I just have a tiny, tiny bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and just detangle my hair. And this is also from Dyson. I actually got this one when I bought my Dyson Coral because yes, I do have the Dyson Coral straightener and I also have the hair dryer, which they are all really, really good products. This baby is brand new. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh, there you go. So it comes with this pad right here. So you can just set it on top of your counter. It gives you a little bit of instructions of how to use it. I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. So you get your barrels. So you have different size of barrels, one that they are, you know, a little bit more slim, a little bit thicker too. I love all the details right here. Then it comes with also this nozzle right here. This actually will dry your hair. It acts like a hair dryer. In fact, I don't use too much my hair dryer anymore because I use this nozzle right here. And then it also comes with two different brushes. One is too smooth. I mean, both of them, they will give you kind of like, not super straight, straight hair, but it will straighten your hair as much as possible. Then with a round brush too. And then here you have the air wrap. Oh, this is so beautiful. This blue with bronze tone is so nice. So this right here, it tells you how strong the air will come out. So there's three settings right here. This is the lower setting. Usually I do all the way up. And then you have different heat settings. One is for cool, and then the medium one, and then higher, you know, heat. Personally, because I do have treated hair, I usually just go to the middle. And then with these, is basically to turn it on and off. And then if you put it up and just keep it up, this button right here, it will give you that cold shot of air. So that way your hairstyle, it will just remain that way. Then here you have the lock and unlock button to change your different attachments. And this part right here, it is basically your filter. So these right here, you want to make sure that every time that you use it, you clean it. And usually it doesn't get really like dirty or messed up, but it's something that you want to make sure that, you know, you go ahead and clean it. And there's a little, it's not a button, but it's just a little dot right here and here that you just have to align. When this flashes, that means that it needs to be clean. So that's something that, you know, just get into the habit. Now, this Dyson Air Wrap, because it's limited edition, it also comes with the travel pouch, which I find it really, really helpful. And I think it's really beautiful too. It says Dyson right here. Very, very nice little pouch right there to take it on the go. Now let's go ahead and put in one of the attachments. This one is the slimmer per se barrel. And you just wanna go ahead and put it in. It's gonna click. That's it, as easy as that. When you wanna release it from the back, you have this lock right here. Just wanna put it down. And then that's it. As you know, I do have the longer barrels because I do have longer hair. And I mean, this is gonna be the same. It's not that you need to buy a different barrel. The only thing is that 
the beauty of that color is going to be a little bit different, but oh well, that's okay. Now, I'm going to take this one out, and I'm just going to show you on the first strand how I use like this barrel versus this barrel, what is the difference, if that will help you. Now, another thing to note is, for example, I'm going to do my right side, and I want my hair to be away from my face, so I want to make sure that the arrows of this barrel attachment, they are facing outwards, like, you know, outside, <laughs> outside my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in, as you can tell, it doesn't go anywhere. Again, my setting is high on how it blows the air, and then second as far as the heat. So not the blue one, but the first red dot right there. Now I'm gonna use my wet brush, and this brush right here, I really like it because it does have a mix of more bristles too, and it's very soft and gentle with my hair. Now I'm just gonna place this all the way to the back. You will see that my hair will be containing there because this is the first strand, but as I get towards the back, my hair gets longer. <laughs> so I will need the longer barrel, but let's go and let's start with this styling. Now, as you were able to see, I went ahead and wrapped my hair myself. I like to do that. I just, I mean, the air wrap can actually grab your hair from the bottom, but I just got used to that. Now I'm gonna give a cold shot of air, basically on the on and off button. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it up. it off and then I'm just gonna done and let go and there you go I have <laughs> a little goldy lock right there okay now I'm gonna go ahead and change the barrel again from the back I'm gonna pull down and up and that's it and then for these you just click on now there's really no I mean there's not gonna be really a difference on the size of the curl because I'm using the same size barrel but it, this one is just longer so basically it just holds more hair if you have longer hair versus you know medium size hair that's all the difference right here again the arrows are gonna point outwards and now I'm gonna go again with my brush Go with a cold shot. Then off, and then I'm just gonna let go, and there you go, all shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna speed up the process and do the rest of my hair. If you want a little bit more volume too, what you can do is just get these hairs, kind of tease it just a little, and then I put it towards the back. <laughs> it looks so funny, but yeah, just do it like that. Now to hold up a little bit of curls, I like to use this hairspray by Bedhead. It's called TG Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. I like this one, it smells so good. Or the one from Olive. Mm, it smells so refreshing, so. And then I like to go with a hair oil. Some of my favorite hair oils are the ones from Bumble and Bumble, Jisoo, also the one from Oribe, the Gold Last 2. This one right here, the Bumble and Bumble one, I use it mostly when I use this one right here. So I, I interchange it. So if I'm using the Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer, the heat protectant, then, I mean, sometimes they pair it with these, obviously, but most of the times I go ahead and use either the Oribe one or the Jisoo one. This one right here is not super dense. It doesn't weigh down my hair and it's just so nice. I love also the very, you know, like fine, fine scent. And I usually just take it to, you know, the tips of my hair. I don't like to take it too much on the top. With whatever is remaining, then I pass it, but in a very small amount. 
And then to give my hair a little bit more volume, I like to go with a texturizing spray. And for that, I use my Oribe texturizing spray. You know, guys, this is my favorite one. It doesn't leave a lot of residue. And you just... Also, if you want more volume, there's a wow spray, but usually I use it, you know, when my hair is completely dumb and I apply it on my roots. But that wow product will give you a lot of volume, like, you know, like if you're going for, I don't know, a party or something like that, that's when I like to use it. Unless you're a person that really needs it. My hair is not like really, you know, straight, you know, it has some natural waves and so it holds a little bit more the curl too. Ooh, and you know what? Now I wanted to show it to you. I know this is gross, but I like to use this little tool. I get it at Amazon. Again, I will be leaving everything on the description box below with the links and whatnot. But with these, I just go ahead and clean my brush. And I'm that kind of person. I love to clean my brush every single time I do my hair. I don't let it accumulate like, you know, hair and it, yeah, no. <laughs> I like to keep it nice and clean. And as you can tell, styling with the Dyson Air Wrap, it makes your hair more smooth, manageable. I really enjoy the result of how to style it with the Dyson Air Wrap. It's worth it 100%. And to finish off the styling, I have to go with a hair mist, a hair fragrance, none other than Delina by Parfums de Marley. This is, if you want to be a little bit more extra, if you want to give your hair that beautiful, feminine, warm, seductive scent. Um, if you love Delina like I do, Delina is such an amazing fragrance. It has Turkish rose, lychee, it also has peony in it. I mean, it's just, it sounds like perhaps a little bit floral, but yes, it does have a floral scent, but again, it does have, a, as a base note, mask, also a little bit of vanilla. So it's a very well, beautiful rendered fragrance, and it also has bergamot. And I love fragrances that they do have bergamot because if they are mostly floral with the bergamot, it balances out in a way that it makes it a little bit more, you know, airy at the same time. But this is such a feminine fragrance. And then again, having a hair perfume, it's just so extra and mm, spray a little oh my goodness yeah and the beautiful thing about this hair perfume from Parfums de Marley doesn't have alcohol in it so it will not dry your hair in fact it does have panthenol in it which is really good for your hair so don't worry and it would just make your hair you know smell extra good i mean whether you are a delina lover or you just want to layer your fragrances and smell super and extra good <laughs> then you know what to do and by the way if i haven't mentioned it there is a giveaway here on this video yes there is one i'm gonna be giving away to one of you a parfum de marley delina hair perfume yes a brand new one on its packaging and it's very easy to enter first of all you have to be subscribed to my channel make sure you have that post notification bell on at all times because that's the only way that you will know whenever i upload new videos you know all the jazz right there make sure you give a like to this video and make sure you leave a comment down below what is your hair care routine what products should i use whatever you want to do but make sure you put a little emoji of a rose a rose or any flower that you want so that i know that you want to be entered very important on that comment make sure you leave either your email or your instagram handle because that's pretty much the only way that i will be able to contact you and if you want to have a second entry please come and follow me on my instagram and on the first post that i will be doing today just do the same thing Put a comment, put a little flower, a little rose, whatever you want, and that way it will give you a second entry. As easy as that, but I will be also leaving all the details of the rules for the giveaway on the description box below, and I will be announcing the giveaway winner in a week from the day that I'm posting this video. Okay, my friends, so good luck to all of you. And now I would love to know from you, have you tried any of the products that I used today? Perhaps you have already tried the Parfums de Marley Delina hair perfume or the Dyson Air Wrap. Don't forget 
this coming November 15 is the last day of the Sephora Holiday Savings event. The code is YAY HOLIDAY and yes, you can get the Dyson Airwrap with your discount either if you're a Rouge member 20%, 10%, 15%, whatever it is. Let me know if it's on your wish list. Perhaps you have already got it, how you're liking it. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.